Well, I guess this was inevitable, wasn't it? Bonjour, excuse moi. Coach Gozu asked me to come and grab his materials for next period. Hello? There's nobody here. Ah, Kensuke. Uh Thank goodness he sent you here to help out with all of this. There's so much stuff I was about to go look for help. But here you are. Oh, God. A surprise counterpunch? All right, now. Just calm down. Take a deep breath. You got this. Are you all right? My God, there's like a million boxes worth of materials here. How does he do it? How can he act so normal? Kensuke, After I pushed him away. Here? Coach Gozu may be pretty buff, but this stuff is too heavy for the likes of us to try and carry. I'm so glad you were able to come and help me out with this. Let's take it up together. Together? Yeah. If we carry it together, we what can... What do you mean, together? Huh? We broke off our friendship! Did you forget or something? Ever since that day, I've... I've been... I've been trying to forget about you! I keep trying, but I can't forget! And you obviously don't know what that feels like, Asiya! You're as calm and cool as ever! I'm not calm or cool. It's just an act, Kensuke. I made a promise we would be together forever. Then, because of my parents, I had to switch schools. Ken, I didn't have a choice. They made me go. I wanted us to make up again ever since I moved away. It's why I came to this high school. For you, Ken. So I could see you smile again. Uh, uh. I miss you. Please tell me you don't hate me. I could never hate you, Asiya. How long has it been since I've seen his face this close up? I remember his smell. Hey! What's taking you two so long? Sorry, sir. We'll bring it now. We totally made up! I have no idea what we totally made up we is referring to. Well, whatever was upsetting him so much seems like it's over. Okay, so this is good then? Kensuke! Huh? Ah, Matsuzawa. Don't worry. Asiya and I are walking home together after school. I'll ask him then. Really? Yep. I'll let you know as soon as I know. Great! <sighs> okay, so call me. Let me give you my number. You'd better tell us everything. Aw, oh, come on! Is this how you're supposed to get a high school girl's phone number now? Ooh, I am writing this down, man. It's been a long time since we've walked home along the riverbank. The last time was in elementary. Though I feel like we didn't have this much of a height difference back then. Five centimeter? You think so? Damn it! I hope I get taller. I've been making sure to drink milk every day. Kensuke, don't you change a thing. What? Why not? Because you're cuter this way. No way, man. I'm not the cute one. You were the one that was always way cuter than me when we were little. People even mistook you for a girl. Mistook is putting it lightly. More like made fun of me. Oh. But of course, you were always there to stick up for me back then. <laughs> Guess that comes from my brother. You can see it all the way from here. Hmm? That mountain? You know, the one we went to. Uh, yeah, Mansasakure. Do you remember the oath we carved into that tree? I do. Wait, why did we end up going to Mansasakure again? We went to try and catch some stag beetles. Ah, that's right. We wrote about them in our Tales of Bravery book. We got so caught up in our hunt for stag beetles that we strayed pretty far.
then we had a sudden downpour. Played it cool, he would have ended up being even more afraid. He can be really amazing, you know that? I totally thought we'd be stuck on that mountain forever. If my brother hadn't come to the rescue, we would have been goners. I would have stayed in that tree with you forever. Huh? I'm really glad we were finally able to make up, though. I can't wait for this school year! It's gonna be a blast! Now that we have each other again... Oh, that's right. Hey, man, do you have a girlfriend? Why do you want to know that? Oh, the girls in class are dying to know, that's all. I don't. Really? So that means those girls actually might still have a chance with you. What if those girls are actually after you and not me? Me? <laughs> not a chance, man. Look at you. Well, you never know. Huh? Who can tell how people feel anyway? Especially, someone as dense about people's feelings as you. Uh. Sorry, forget about it. Well, I'm this way. Do you live around here? I'm living on my own at the moment. Seriously? That's cool! You're like an adult! Can I come over? I don't think so. Is it because your place is so filthy you're embarrassed about it? My place isn't filthy. Then why? See ya. Hey, come on, Asia. Hey, I'll come over and hang out soon, okay? 